Understanding how to calculate pressure and read a pump curve, as explained in Chapter 2, will help you decide which pump best suits your needs. Now you need to choose the type of pump and control system that suits your lifestyle and budget. There are several designs of pumps to choose from. This is a non-self-priming pump. Notice how the inlet is midway down the pump's casing. This style of pump is only suitable for above ground tanks as it relies on flooded suction. Here we have a self-priming jet pump. On this style of pump you can see the inlet is higher up on the pump's casing. This means water will remain in the pump's body when the pump is switched off and not flow back through the suction line. This pump uses an impeller and injector to create a good pressure. It is suitable for both above and below ground tanks. This is a self-priming multi-stage pump. It works using multiple impellers to build up pressure. Notice the inlet is high up on the pump's casing keeping it primed. They are best in flooded suction situations and are capable of high flow rates. The submersible pump is mounted to the inside of the water tank where it's out of the way. It boasts a very quiet operation. The air tank pressure system has an internal bladder in the pressure tank that fills with water. The other side of the bladder has between 18 and 20 psi of air in it. When enough water is drawn from the bladder to drop the pressure of the system, the pump is activated by the pressure switch. This style of pressure system has a draw-off facility. The amount of draw-off you get before the pump starts will depend on the size of the air tank you use. This facility makes this pumping system ideal for plumbing to toilets. The system comes with a non-return valve that must be fitted to prevent pressure escaping back through the inlet when the pump turns off. Without the non-return valve, the pump would continuously cycle on and off. Air pressure in the tank should be checked regularly and more air added if required. Like the air tank system, the hydrotronic pressure system will turn on and off automatically as water is required. Unlike the air tank system, the hydrotronic pressure system maintains constant pressure. It also shuts itself off automatically if the water supply coming into the pump is stopped. This is called run dry protection and it prevents the pump from overheating and causing damage. Now all you need to do is choose the type of pump and control system that best suits your lifestyle and budget.